Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today's flight will take us again with the Tolis A319 service from Los Angeles over to San Francisco. Um, it is about one hour and actually a 49 minute flight. And uh, yeah, I installed the latest Tolis updates as well as the IAE uh, sound pack for, from BSS and the IAE engine mod, as you guys can see here. So we're going to be rocking a fully modded uh, A319. And uh, yeah, let's go and get started. Master's off, mostly like normal, the usual stuff. Weather radar off, predictive winter system off, wipers off, batteries at least 25 and a half, one, two. And then all lights off, external power can come on. All right, so we're gonna continue with the APU fire test. I don't know, is it just me or does it feel like the lights are very dim? I feel like this has been an issue since the update, but I can't put my finger around it, whether it's something else. Um, maybe it has to do with like one of these settings here. Let's just see real quick. It's display, that's window, and background glow. Weird. So nothing to do with that. I'm curious what this why it's so dark. There's always something that always is broken after an update, so it's kind of expected unfortunately by this point in flight simulation. So yeah. We'll continue. Uh, we've done the if you fire test, we'll do and I'll initialize A cars. We're going to go verify the aircraft type. Engine type is checked. Add the devices up to date. Again, a, a, not something that would happen in a real aircraft is if you were to switch databases. Um, you here in the toll list, you can see that the database identifier, so to speak, changes. In the real plane, that's not the case. Um, the, this stays. Um, at the most up-to-date nav data database that is installed. I think I've already said this in the last video. Um, so, even if we selected the old database, it would still show the newest one. So this is why you should, when you check your database, you should always check the date. Um, never this, normally. Then my company uses negative 3.5 as an idle factor, so I'm going to select that in and then clear it out. That's done. MCDU, ATSU, AOC, init. Okay. And then Metar. Then go to init. And we can see that everything here is plugged in. Which go up here. Recall for three seconds. Normal, we check the status. Um, this, obviously, this is not correct. You would still see some status messages because the irises are not, are not aligned. Um, like autopilot, cat, two, I believe you would see. Things like that. I mean, um, so the in-op systems are missing on the status page, but that's okay. That's just the tallest thing. They don't simulate everything perfectly. With that, we'll uh, do the uh, preliminary performance determination. So we'll go to takeoff, reset. Our estimated takeoff weight plus two tons is 128.7. Compute giving us flaps 1, 71, 32, 32, 35, and that's checked. It's green dot of 202. That's fine. Our altimeter is 297. Go we'll set once, twice, and three times. And I'm also going to go ahead and clip my charts. So we're going to do the before walk around real quick. So all white lights are extinguished, all lights are normal, all white lights are extinguished, all lights are normal, cargo temperature selectors are set to cool, that's fine, and the ADRS is set to nav. The pressure is checked, hydraulic quantities are good, engine oil quantities are sufficient, flaps up indication degrees, boilers disarm, parking brake set, accurate pressure is sufficient, nav lights will come on as well, and then, we, and then the uh, first officer can do the walk around. 
All right, so I went ahead and got everything set up. Uh, loading, boarding can, can start. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll close the window. We'll continue with the overhead scan. Looks good. The reason why we have set this to low is because our economy is less than 60%, so uh, there's no need to uh, have it on normal. Rest is checked here. Let's look for a fold, everything looks fine. And continue. This is all checked. Our date 7 20 is checked, and that's fine. Sets. That was idle. 121.5 emergency frequency, which is also called guard frequency, it's called 2000. And we can now go to the FNDC, then our current coordinates, and select align IRS. Cost index is 27. Archer 2 5 right. Number 2. Doked transition. Insert arrival. We're going to go for a GLS approach. Surfer 4. Yeah, Eddie. Insert. Our alternate flight plan. Runway 28 right. Truck in 2. Truck in transition. Atlas 17 right. PCR 2. No video for now. Insert. Put the engine out. Tracking 251 until 25 miles and holding there. That's done and set. There's an RNAV departure, so we don't require anything here. Flown wind data. Second page at fifteen point four three percent alternate is two point seven giving us an extra of one hour and twenty two minutes of so five point six tons a landing weight of one twenty six point one which is 10 tons below our max. Takeoff weight 130.6, it's fine. The 4.5, it's about right. So we'll go to performance. We calculated flaps once. Flex 71. And 135. 18,000 is checked. 1630. The NADP2, 1630, and 1700. In case of a return, 2, 5, left. Cruise, auto, and recommend a max. Nav accuracy is high. Secondary copy.
insert. performance transition flight level is 180 it's 250 at 9 for 2 3 That's done. This should climb is two three zero. It's done. Ocean test not simulated. On Mapu twenty three thousand one hundred. Flight altitude 231. Altitudes checked, cross checked. Okay, this is good to 907. This is all checked. But pressurization, close for elevation, which it is. It is, it should be normal, which it is. That's good to go. It will take us about three more minutes until we're completely loaded. Until then, um, once we are completely loaded and got our load sheet, we'll continue with the uh, procedures. For now, we can do the cockpit preparation checklist. So, gear pins and covers removed, fuel quantity 15.4 tons and balanced. You only require 11.4. Default signs are on. Gears are nav. And barrel 129 or 907 set. And another 8 set on all three. Cockpit preparation check is complete. Alright, so the load sheet has arrived and it's finished, so we're gonna go ahead and aircraft put up for that. So zero fuel weight has changed a little bit. 15.7 is what we'll plug in. And 26.2. Log fuel stays the same, 15.4. Even us to take up to 130.7. We'll reset that 131.2 for takeoff weight for the actual takeoff weight. Um, it's all checked. We're gonna go 29er, 9er 5, 29er, pute, box 1, 51, sorry, 71, 32, 32, 36. This is fine. And up. If it's within one knot, it's checked, it's fine. Okay. Put the APU. Alright, so beacon on. Post up is idle. Parking brake said egg pressure is checked in the green. Do the before takeoff checklist, of oh, sorry, before start checklist. Parking brake is set. Take off speed and thrust. 32, 32, 35. Lexington 71. Nose closed. Beacon on. Four star check is completed. Flies are all armed. Wait for the nose wheel steer and disengage to appear, and then we're ready to go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected. Bypass pens inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Number two. Starting one.
anti-ice is off, you can set us this checked. Pitch room set and regard room neutral. We're going to do the flight control check. Pull up. Pull down. Neutral. Pull left. Pull right. Neutral. Left, right, control, left control check complete. Right, clear left, clear right. Say like they're taking the wrong runway, so we're just gonna ignore that. The problem with AI traffic is they like to go with they they go by wind. Normally, although the wind's actually in our favor, but still they kind of go by wind. And the real procedure is actually to go runway two five at all times. Four. All right, we're clear to line up. For take off, satellite's coming on, chrono starting, brakes released, 1.05 VPR initially. Stable. Mass Flex 71 SRS, one way out of thrust blue. Thrust is set. Climb auto thrust, pack one.
parking brake or chalk set, engines off, wing lights off, fuel pumps off. Parking checklist is completed. Alright, so welcome to San Francisco with the Tolos A319. I hope you guys enjoy the flight. Until then, see you in the next video and peace. Thank you.